Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I am fine, thank you. Very and good. You? I'm good, actually, pretty good. Tired, but good. <laughs> yes, me tired too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's good. How was your work today? It was very busy. Very busy. Yes, I had a lot of meetings during the morning. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon, I had to check uh, some reports. Okay. And where do you work? I, uh, I work at an uh, international organization. Oh, that's uh -huh. good. Yeah, so I can imagine a lot of meetings. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yes, a lot of meetings and very complicated yeah. the, the context of the meeting. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> but it's almost Friday. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> So hello, everybody. Hello. hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was your day? It was busy. Busy too. Yes. Yeah, can imagine. Actually, those days have been a lot of busy, very busy. But thanks God we got a job. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I'm tired, but i'm ready for the class yeah that's that's the attitude yeah that's good that's good <clears throat> so that's the attitude we have to have being ready positive to learn and that's the good thing <laughs> right <laughs> so what about the rest let's see raul how are you good evening good evening fine, fine thank you very good how was your day it's very tired too because I was uh, I I had a meeting with my boss and other partner. Okay, very good. A lot of meetings. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What about you, Mauricio? How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? Uh, uh, it was. It was busy. I I had to I had to uh, I had to do some some work in uh, or to fill to fill documents. Okay. In Good, the, evening, teacher. Good evening. In Arcadia, okay. In Arcadia, they uh, bother a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and. And after that, as we celebrated some uh, uh, the, the column is a, a partner. Okay. Celebrate a partner that he she uh, graduates from Licenciada. Oh, that's good. A, a bachelor. Business administration. I have bachelor. She, Very good. Uh, she's and uh, we are we celebrate her and uh, we will take a lunch. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. That's nice. And all of here, do you go to the office to work or do you work from home? From home. From home? And, no. And, and uh, office. And yes, and the offices. Okay. It's a combination. All of right. Both. What about the uh, rest? According of, uh, according of the uh, our, I don't know, syndicato, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, how, let me look for Sindicato. I, I remember okay. the word, but I don't remember right now. Uh -huh. uh, we have a uh, right about uh, this uh, type of uh, combination. Okay. <laughs> it's a syndicate. Syndicate is Sindicato. Syndicate. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Yeah, actually, working from home is good. I've been like almost two years working from home and it's good. It's good. I like, I like it. So, so welcome everybody. Hi Irving, hi Maria, hi Francisco, Crisia, Monica, Dolores. Hi. 
Good evening, Hi. everybody. It's nice Good to see you. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you too. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Good evening teacher. everybody. Good evening. Good evening, and thank you very much to come back to the class. Hi, good evening. Thank you very much for joining again. Uh, this is our fifth class um, that we're going to start. So, but we want, I want you that we talk a little bit about the things we have seen uh, this uh, days as well. I would like to ask you, did, were you able to, to see the the videos that I sent you yesterday uh, in the WhatsApp group, were you able to see them? Yes. Okay. Did everybody watch the videos? Uh, no, I I didn't watch them. You didn't watch them? Uh -huh. I couldn't. You sent that, okay. that for WhatsApp? Yes, I sent them on WhatsApp. I sent, uh, I think, three videos. I sent two, the word like conversations, and the other two, I'm mean, sorry, and the other one, it was a song. It was a song. I'm sorry. I, 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 okay, no worries. That's fine. No, I know that. that... No, no, no. I No, I don't. Maybe uh, oh, give me your phone. Are you in the in the WhatsApp group? No, uh, I didn't. I think so. Let me see. Uh, in the email that you receive, uh, there was a link, so you can join to the group, uh, okay. to the WhatsApp group. <clears throat> so you can join. You can join later. Later, and okay. I will keep sending uh, videos, links, uh, or any stuff that you may uh, use. Uh, so the song that I sent you yesterday, it was actually for you can practice that uh, there were like direct questions on the song. So you can change them to uh, indirect questions, but that's fine. If you were watch, uh, if you weren't able to watch them, uh, that's fine, but we'll still practice it. So do you remember about the indirect questions? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Very good. What do we use them for? What do we use the, the indirect questions? You use them to, to ask for some information in a polite way. Exactly. That's correct. We use them for ask information in a polite way. That's correct. Very good. Um, let's see. I'm going to tell you a di direct question and then you tell me how that will be in an indirect question. For example, um, where were you yesterday? How that could be, uh, or how can you make it an indirect question? Where were you yesterday? Would you tell me where you uh, were yesterday? Very good, that's correct. Excellent. That's very good. Um, another one. Let's see. Um, what did you eat uh, last week? What did you eat last week? Can you tell me what you ate last week? Very good. Excellent. Um, where is the bus station? Can you tell me where the the bus station is? Uh huh. Yes. Excellent. Um. Why were you sad? Could you repeat the question, please? Sure. Why were you sad? Sad? Could, you tell, could you tell me why you were sad? You were sad. Exactly. Very good. And one more. Um, where does Mauricio live? Can you tell? Uh -huh. 
Can you tell me where Mauricio lives? Very good. Excellent. Great job. That's good. Exactly. So that's how we make the uh, from their direct question to indirect questions. And we use them to ask for polite information. And as we always do in this class, we're going to start with a conversation activity. Um, when we were in like in um, live, like in, in, in a classroom, I really like to make role plays. So we're going to try to make one role play here. Let me see if we can make uh, couples. Let's see. Yeah, I think we can make couples here. So we're going to make couples and but let me show you first what are you going to do? Let me show you my screen here. OK. So this is what you're going to do. You have here three questions and you have three answers. So these questions and answers are for you can create a conversation like if you were in a hotel. So one person is going to be like a receptionist and the other person is going to be the person who is going to check in the hotel. So what are you going to do? The, the person who is going to check in in the hotel is going to ask this question, these three questions, but in a polite way. That means that you're going to use an indirect question. So you're going to make these three questions in an indirect question. And then the receptionist, the person who's going to play the receptionist, is going to provide the answers. Here are the answers that you will say. You have to make the conversation. You have to create as much as you can. Uh, remember, make a greeting, talk a little bit, and then start with the questions. So an example could be like, uh, hi, good morning. And then the other person will say, uh, welcome to Real Intercontinental Hotel. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Very good. Oh, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. This, that, blah, blah. And then you start with the questions, making it in a polite way. And then you as a receptionist uh, provide the answers. So uh, copy these questions, copy the answers so you can make the activity. And let me know once you have completed. Just copy the questions, copy the answers, and then let me know once you're done. Teacher. Yes. Entonces vamos a hacer parejas y vamos a este uno va a preguntar y, indirectamente y el otro va a contestar. Exactly. But you have to make a conversation. No solo van a hacer las preguntas de un solo, sino que van a hacer un pequeño diálogo. No lo tienen que escribir. Eh, that's important. El diálogo no lo tienen que escribir. Uh, you just talk. I just need you to talk. Do not write it. Do not copy. Just talk. Just make the conversation. La conversación entonces del estudiante B es más fácil. You can change it. La... <laughs> you can turn it. So don't worry. Porque mira, El la tiene que tras, o sea, hacer las indirectas y el B solo va contestando, ah, sí, bienvenido. Hey, you have to talk only in English, Sofía. <laughs> Yolanda. Done, teacher. Done, very good. So if you want, uh, please, like Yolanda, uh, raise your hand so I can see who, who already finished. So once you're finished, click there and raise your hand so I can see who finished.
So if you just join, uh, we are making couples. So we're gonna practice the this conversation. We're gonna make a conversation with this information using indirect questions. And once you finish, please raise your hand so I can I can see that you finished. Thank you. We have Yolanda, we have Monica. What about the rest? Finish. Okay, Mauricio. Irving, do you finish? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sofia, Rafael. Dolores, did you finish? Uh, uh, right now. Uh -huh. Good. Noemi, do you finished? Okay. Good. Francisco? You finished? Yes, I am teaching. Okay, very good. Elvis, did you finish? No, teacher. <clears throat> I, I, I feel a little minute. Okay. No, okay, that's fine. I, I, okay. So, this is what we are doing. Copy these questions and these answers. Take a picture. You better take a picture. Oh, you can take a picture. Yes. That's uh, a yes. good idea. That's a great idea. You can take a picture. So then you can just uh, use it when you're in the conversation. Good. That's good, Mauricio. Thank you. So take a picture so you can get it there. And then we can go to the to the meetings rooms. Maria, you done? Um, es de es la misma pre, las mismas preguntas, teacher, o hay que formularlas. No, you just have to make the question. You just have to type the question, or you can take a picture to the questions. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Sofia. Thank you. Vanessa. Judith, you done? Yes, teacher, I don't. No, not yet, teacher. Okay. Wait. I take a picture, teacher. Very good. I took a picture. That's good. Oh, okay. I uh -huh. took. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we're just missing uh, Judith. Chris, are you done? Teacher, ayúdeme en la primera. Ah? Yeah, ready. Okay. Me good. puede ayudar en la primera. Ah, uh, right now, just lleva, copy the no question. Lleva WH question. Y ahí no, no sé cómo hacer. Uh, we're going to see it on the, on the conversation. Right now, just copy the questions or take a picture so we can make the couples. Ay, Teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Teacher, I couldn't be yesterday at class, but I guess that is to make the question. It's to make right? the indirect questions. Indirect question, mm -hmm. yeah. Something like, como pedir amablemente, creo yo, ¿verdad? Yes, it's ask in a polite way. In a polite the same way, question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't be yesterday, so. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I try to do. No worries. Best. No worries. Just I remember think. when you when you miss the class, remember that you can go to the to the playlist and you can see the class. Because yeah, the class is I recorded. Did. Okay. I be doing that. All right. Very good. So let me make the, the, the couples right now so we can go ahead and uh, and and be in in partners. So let me do it right now. And please start making your uh, your conversation. Do not write it, just speak, okay? So here we go. So join to the conversation. Join the conversations, join the groups.
So join the groups. Hola, eh, voy entrando. No sé cómo están ahorita. Voy ok. Llegando. Let me give you the information here. So this is the one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a, a conversation, like a, a, a role play with this information. If you want, you can just take a picture uh, with your cell phone and then I will join, I will uh, add you in one of the groups. Este, ¿me enviarán a un grupo entonces? Yes, I, I think you're going to be here uh, because we have as well here Walter. Let me go ahead and, and join you with the group. O sea, estoy viendo la pantalla de... Yes, let me... De la práctica. Le, yes, let me join you with a group right now. Just give me one second. Let's see, let me put you here, number four. All right. And Walter, hi. Hello. So just give me one, okay. So this is what we are doing right now. Uh, we're gonna make a role play. Uh, this is the information that you're going to use. We're practicing the indirect questions right now. <clears throat> so uh, if you can, you can take a picture to this information and then I'm going to join you one of the groups so you can uh, make a conversation with them. Lo único que en la clase anterior sí no estuve. No, okay, no worries. Uh, we're going to see you there. Uh, you just need to make conversations with them right now. And you will be checking the, the, the topic in the, okay. in the conversation. So let me know when you have taken the picture. Were you able to take the picture? I think you're in mute. Okay. Did you take the picture? Uh, no, if you take the picture. No, sorry, no. no, no. Eh, si tomó la foto de la de la, oh, de, de la oh, diapositiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. No. So, tome la foto, así lo agrego en un grupo para que pueda comenzar a practicar con ellos. Ok. Ya. Mm ya. -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Let me put you in a group here. Let me put you here. Just give me one second. Mm. All right, then he didn't join there. Did he and join? Hmm. Right. Are hi, you hi? Hello, teacher. Hello. Did you do the conversation already? Yes. 
All right. We think we think yes. All right. <laughs> I, I want to hear it. Um. Okay. Um. I'm going. I'm going to be the. I'm going to be the student A. Okay. Okay. Um, number one, is there free Wi-Fi in the hotel? Free Wi-Fi is available through the hotel. Okay. Just mm -hmm. one thing. You have to make the conversation. Like, for example, you have to say and start. If you're going to be uh, a student A, uh, you will say, uh, hi, uh, uh, my name is... Uh, to this and I want to check in in the hotel and then the student B is going to be a receptionist and Maria will say hi welcome to the Real Intercontinental Hotel how are you or how can I help you and then you start making these questions but indirect question so you will say for example is there free wi-fi in the hotel you will say excuse me or do you know if there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel. ¿Se entiende ahora cómo se va a hacer la, la conversation? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. okay, teacher. All right. We have, we have to talk more. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So I will go to another uh -huh. group and I'll come back. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Yes, free Wi-Fi is available. <laughs> no me recuerdo cómo me dijo. Available. 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 <laughs> free Wi-Fi is available. For... Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Free Wi-Fi is available. Thor... Thor... Through. 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 The hotel. Nice. So we changed. Uh, right now you are student A and I am student B. Okay. Hi, Mauricio. Good morning. Hello, Dolores. Good morning. Can, can you tell me if is there free Wi-Fi in the hotel? Make the question one more time. Can you tell me? Uh-huh. There is, there is fry, free Wi-Fi. There's the missing hotel. something there. Can you tell me? And then? Mm -hmm. Remember that for yes, no question, we use one word. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? There free if, Wi-Fi. If. You have to talk if. If. If there uh -huh. Wi-Fi. If. There is. If there is, mm -hmm. can you tell me? Uh -huh. If uh -huh. there uh -huh. is free Wi-Fi in the hotel. Excellent. Of course, uh, of course, Dolores. Uh, we have free Wi-Fi uh, in the hotel. It's available to all the hotels. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Um, can you tell me what time the breakfast is? Excellent. Very good. Of course. Um, the breakfast time is the, bre the breakfast time is from 6:30 a.m. to 10:30 a.m. Excellent. Because I don't like the, this career. Hi. Okay. Hello. Hi. Okay. <laughs> you finished? Okay. I want to hear the conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. The, the first, you are A. Sofia, yo. Sofia. <laughs> <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Excuse me. Could you tell me 
the Wi-Fi is free in the hotel. One more time. Say the question one more time. Could you tell me? Tell me the Wi-Fi is free in the hotel. There is missing one word there. Hay una pregunta que, perdón, una palabra que hace falta ahí. ¿Cuál es? There. No. Si es una yes, no question. ¿Qué se utiliza? Ajá. It. If. If. Ah, if. Ajá. The Wi-Fi is free. Can, no era the. Could you no, tell me? If. If. Ajá. Uh -huh. Next. If the Wi-Fi is free. Uh, no. If the there is. If Wi-Fi. No. There is. Ajá. Uh -huh. If there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel. If Ay, yo le dije que me iba a no quiero. <laughs> Remember, when you are making indirect question, uh, you have to change the verb from, like, you have to put it like this. Tiene que moverlo. Ya el, eh, aquí comienza, is there, entonces va a ir al revés. Va a ir, there is. So, could you tell me if there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel. If there is Wi-Fi free. Or free free Wi-Fi. Wi free Wi-Fi. Ay, <laughs> pena. Ya me puso cero. No, no. <laughs> Could you tell me if there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel, please. Very good. Yes. The, there is a free Wi-Fi available through the hotel in lobby. You can say yes. Yes. Free Wi-Fi is available through the hotel. Free Wi-Fi is available in the hotel. Mm -hmm. Only yes. that. Yep. Okay, um, change okay, the second do you question. Know? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what's your name? Uh, what's your name? Uh, what, me. <laughs> Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, because teacher. I don't know. Who are you? Yes, it's, I, it's asking your name. Go I ahead, Elvis. Answer, answer. Yes. Answer, Arma. Do you know <laughs> what time the breakfast is? Good. Excellent. That's good. Very good, Sophia. <laughs> yes. The, the breakfast time is, uh, is from 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Can you tell me what time the gym open? Pero sí, sí está interesante el, el, el ponerle la spicy a la, al, a la dramatización. Correcto. Hi. Hi, teacher. Did you finish your conversation? Uh, yes, we finished. Yes, we All were right. practicing. Let's see it. Okay, Raul, let's go. Uh, a. Uh, yes. good, good evening. Uh, I I am Raúl, and I I want to uh, to do. Uh, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Raúl. How are you? What? What, uh, ¿cómo puedo decir? ¿Qué puedo hacer por usted? How can I help you? How can I help you? Hay problemas con el inter, se oye cortado. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, okay. how, can, how can I help you? 
-huh. Raúl, Hola. can you hear Hello. us? Yes, hi. Next question. Okay. Uh, could you tell me, uh, is there free Wi-Fi here in the hotel? Yes. Uh, we have free Wi-Fi. Uh, no, free free Wi-Fi. Free wi yes, free Wi-Fi. Is available through available the, uh, available yeah, yeah, yeah. the hotel. Okay. Okay, thanks. And, and other other question. Um, can you can you tell me please what time is the breakfast uh, here, please? You have to change it. Can you tell me what time? What time? Uh, the breakfast. The 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 breakfast is. Yes. Good. The. Breakfast time is from 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. Okay, thanks. And the, the last question, uh, can you, could you tell me uh, what time uh, is the, no, no, what time do no. the, no, what time? Mm -hmm. Uh, the the jeans open opens opens mm -hmm. okay. the jeans opens at 5 a.m thank you Alberto. Uh, it's nice is uh, nice to it's nice to to know uh, all all the options that i i will uh, take in this hotel and I call you tomorrow. Thank you for your information. Great. Okay, Mr. Raul, it was a pleasure. Nice to uh, have a nice day. Thanks. Good. Very good. Great job. That's pretty good. I think we're going to come back uh, because of the time. And let me get you back to the main session. But great job. Very good. So let's go back to the main meeting. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. It's about the number uh, three. In mm -hmm. this case, it's not uh, what time does the gym open? What time does... Yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, but and the, the yes. answer is, could you tell me what time the gym opens? Yeah, exactly, that's correct. Okay, perfect yes. teacher. Good, good catch there. We need to change change the, the question. <laughs> yeah, we have to change, I, I did already. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was my mistake, sorry. But yes, it was, what time does the gym open? Because the gym, it's, uh, it's a third person singular, so it's an it. So good. Excellent. So great job. Teacher. Yes. Who's Can talking? you explain me the Monica? Oh, hi, Monica. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Can you explain me how the, the ruler that we need to, to follow to make the, this question, the polite question? Sure. Let me put it really fast here so we can Teacher. see. Yes. I'm sorry. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I think I can. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. Ah, okay, very good. I thought that I was on mute, but not. All right, so let me uh, share really quick so we can move to the other. Uh, so a indirect question is like this. Um, do you have a direct question like this one? Where is the bank? And what you do is that you make it polite. La hacen como más, la hacen, eh, how do you say it in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> eh, oh my God, I Diplomatica. forgot. Diplomatica. Yes. Diplomaticamente. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's like, uh, I don't remember the word, but yes, okay. diplomaticamente, what was the word? 
Amable, educado. Amable, thank you. Sí. Yes, exactly. In a, una forma amable. So you ask, could you tell me where the bank is? So you have to change. For example, if it's a yes, no question, then you have, if he is Spanish, then you will say, can you tell me if he is Spanish? And this is, you change, is he to he is. The same happens with the past, uh, the simple past for B. Can you tell me if he was? Simple past, you change the verb to a, to a simple past form. Can you tell me if Amanda called? And the same happened with the simple present. Okay, that's with the just no questions. That's with WH questions. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of the mm -hmm. same. Uh, you just change it for a WH question at the beginning. So you only have to change the verb. Uh, the verb has to go after now the subject. El verbo ah. tiene que ir ahora después del sujeto. In the first two. Right. Y, y como sería la, y how is the, the, the way, the front way that the first one, the, this del one? ejercicio, the exercise. Oh. No. The, first, the, first. Uh, the, the other, the three-way way. This one, yes, 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 since yes, yes. this is a just no question, it will be, could you tell me, or can you tell me if there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel? Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I and I create the can you tell me if the hotel has free Wi-Fi in? No. It's can you tell me if there is yeah. free Wi-Fi in the hotel? Uh -huh. Is it clear now? If, if, is it clear? If, there is, if there yes. is, if there is. Yes, if there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel. there is free Wi-Fi in the hotel, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure, sure, not a problem. Okay, so now uh, let's go here. I think you have back connection right now, Monica. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Continue okay. with the class teacher. I have very bad connection. <laughs> All right. No worries. No worries. Okay. So mm, right now what we're going to see it's the uh, evaluations with adjective nouns. This is as well as a topic. It's not too complicated. It's uh, uh, very simple. We're going to use actually two words. Uh, these are the words that we're going to use. An evaluation. We know that what is an evaluation. It's to give our opinion about something and evaluate and say this is good this is bad this is in the middle so 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 we're going to use uh, adjectives to make an evaluation and we have two examples here we're going to use enough and two and those we have already uh, saw them in uh, the previous expression, do you remember the quantity expressions? Too many, too much, uh, less, fewer, enough, more. So we're going to see here enough and two. And we have the kitchen isn't big enough. And the living room is too small. So we're going to use enough to say like it's a lot. And if we, if we translate it, we will say, la cocina no es lo suficientemente grande. So that's how we're going to use enough. And then for two, we're going to use it like to say muy. The living room is too small. El, la, la sala de estar es muy pequeña. So that's how we're going to use either enough to say it's a lot of or very uh, and then an, an, an adjective and two to say very little like too small muy pero pequeño 
All right. And here we have some structure that we can use. We're going to use not plus adjective plus enough. By the way, do you know what is an adjective? Teacher. Yes. No puedo ver la pantalla de sus ejemplos. Se trabó. Práctica. This one? Can you see this? No, yo, yo estoy viendo lo de la, del Wi-Fi, the practice. Um, and the rest, can you see the screen? The practice, yes. practice, practice conversation. Practice conversation, yeah. Okay. No, teacher, you have the slide about the student A and the student B. Okay, let me change it again. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Can you see it now? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. So this is what I was explaining to you. Um, that we use the evaluations uh, with adjectives to make our opinions. And these are the examples that I was telling you. The kitchen isn't big enough and the living room is too small. So we're gonna use enough to say suficiente. Uh, and oh, in this case, it will be uh, the kitchen, la cocina no es lo suficientemente grande, and the living room is too small. Es muy pequeño. And I was asking you if do you know what is an adjective? Do you know what it's an adjective? Yes, no? Yes? Okay. Exactly. Those are adjective are words that we use to describe um, a person, a thing, or to provide like a description of something. So that's what we're going to use now with uh, enough and two. And we have here uh, not plus adjectives plus enough. And we have an example here. The bathrooms aren't modern enough. Los baños no son lo suficientemente modernos. Can you give me an example using enough? you think of an example? Any example? The house is not big. No. Enough. Isn't, yes. isn't enough. Exactly. Isn't big enough. That's good. Irving. Um, uh you can say uh in the past too right yep for example the bathrooms weren't modern enough yep that's correct very good okay. one more example the garden is too small okay the garden is too small very good that's with the other uh example with two that's good Excellent. So the same happened here. The only difference is that here we're going to use the adjective at the end, after two. And on this one, we use the adjective before enough. All right. And here we have some uh, adjectives that like and evaluations with, with adjectives that we can use to talk about an apartment or, or a house. We have bright, quiet, spacious, brand new, convenient, dirty, noisy, cramped, shabby, inconvenient, safe, huge, light, modern, reasonable, dangerous, small, dark, old and expensive. Uh, do you have any questions with these adjectives 
Do you know what they mean? Chavi, what is Chavi? Chavi, it's the opposite from brand new. Mm -hmm. Brand new, it's like totally new, very new. And Chavi, it's like old. Mm -hmm. Old, or it could be like descuidado or viejo. Uh, cramped or cramped? Cramped, it's very, very like crowded. Like there's no much space. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the translation? What yeah, could be the translation? Like, uh, exactly. Like a stretcher. A stretcher. Mm -hmm. Sir, what yes. is the meaning? Teacher, we only describe houses. Houses and the parts of the house. Uh, only we, that. No. The, we're going to use that right now. But you can use it for anything. For anything. Mm -hmm. For a pair. Of, yep. For example, uh, life is too expensive nowadays. Exactly. That's correct. So there we're using the uh, two. Life is too expensive nowadays. That's correct. And it's true too. <laughs> so yes, we can use it for houses, but we can only also use it for any other example. Francisco, you had a question. What is the meaning of dirty? Dirty, it's sucio. Dirty, mm -hmm. sucio. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are some examples that we're going to use for adjectives to describe uh, and make an evaluation of a house. So let's make here um, five cents. Let's not make five because of the time. Let's make just two. Two sentences making an evaluation of, of an apartment or a house you know. Or let's see, let's make it from your house. So make one example using enough and one example using two, okay? So I'm gonna choose here some people. Let's see, um, Crisia. Alicia, you there? Hello? Hello. Yes, hi. Can you give me two examples? Hi. Using enough and two? Um, to make an evaluation of your house. Yes. That whatever things or from the house, either from an apartment or house that you know, it could be your house mm -hmm. or your your neighbor's house, whatever. Okay, then um, I the bathroom is in. Is in. How can I say? You can use these these adjectives. Ah, uh, this adjective. Mm. The bathroom mm -hmm. is. Mm. I, I lost in, the, in this class, teacher. I'm sorry? <laughs> the bathroom is clean. So the bathroom? The bathroom is clean. Okay, isn't? Is in mother and now. Okay, it's in mother enough. Okay, very good. That's fine. Uh, let's see, we have here a raise hand from Maria. Um, the shoes aren't big enough. Okay, that's good. Nice. One more. Uh, the cell phone is too old. Okay, the cell phone is too old, good. 
that's good. Okay, any other volunteer? Or one more exercise? One more example, I'm sorry. My garden is too small. Okay, my garden is too small. My, my laptop isn't new enough. Okay. Enough. Very good. Excellent. Good. Yolanda? Uh, my house uh, isn't uh, big enough for my pets, but okay. it's, it's too safe for them. Very good. Great. That's a good example. Awesome. So that's basically how we use enough and two for a make an evaluation. And then we can make an evaluation as well, but now using nouns. Nouns are nombres or sujetos. And we have here the same two words, enough and two, but now we are making and using too much or too many. And we can say there aren't enough bedrooms. Houses cost too much. And we have here the structure, not plus enough plus a noun. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. And is R plus too much or too many plus a noun. Houses cost too much money. So the only difference here that we're going to use the noun at the end. Siempre vamos a poner un nombre al final. To make an example and say um, an evaluation or an opinion of a place. So let's make another examples, but now using now, not only for houses. Let's do like the, the exercise we did the last time, like anything in your city, uh, anything you would like to say. Using enough and too much or too many and a noun at the end. Let's see, uh, Noemi. Can you give me one example? Um, I'm thinking on that. Okay. Is he using too much or many and now? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, based on the example that I gave you yesterday, mm -hmm. in my neighborhood, uh, there are too much, there is too much um, I know. I don't know, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> no, you were good. You were good. There is too much? What? There is too much uh, vandalism. Okay, vandalism. That's fine. Very good. Good. So because you use a noun at the end. That's good. Yolanda. Mm, in Santa Tecla, uh, there is too much traffic on weekends. Okay. Yes, there is too much traffic on weekends. Good. Now one with enough. Enough and a noun. Anyone? Can we say can we say that the Salvador is dangerous enough? Like uh, yeah, yes, but that will be for the previous exercise. Okay. Okay. So on this one we use enough and now. Okay. Let me make. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Teacher, yes. um, could be um, nowadays money is not 
um, is not enough. Mm. Um, yeah, nowadays yeah. money is enough uh, than before. The sentence is correct. The only thing <laughs> is that you have to use it an enough and then a noun. Tienen que usar enough y luego un nombre. A noun at the end, at the end of the sentence. Exactly. So you have to use money at the end. For example, you can say, uh, I will say this for me, my bank account doesn't have enough money. So you mm. use enough y al final un nombre. So my mm -hmm. bank account doesn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say my house doesn't have enough rooms. Excellent. That's good. So my house doesn't have enough rooms. Good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, my garden doesn't mm -hmm. have enough plants, flower, rose. <laughs> Excellent. Great. That's correct. That's good. So my garden doesn't have enough plants, flowers. That's good. One the more. Street, the street doesn't have enough space for all cars. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. The, the streets doesn't, the streets, the streets street don't have, have, no, the streets, because in the plural, street. the streets don't have, I enough, don't have enough space exactly, for, cars. for cars. That's correct. Okay, let's say goodbye just with one, but using too much or too many and a noun. Volunteer? Me. Go. I don't have enough say. I can yeah. say. I don't have enough? Safe. 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 Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh -huh. I don't have enough safety. Okay. Yes, you can say that. So, say that. yeah. So remember, and this is something that you're going to use in the platform if you haven't done the exercise. Enough and then the noun. Too much, too many, and then the noun. Okay. So the difference between uh, are the adjectives and the nouns right yes because the adjective will go using them enough enough and then two and, the and the adjective aha uh -huh. okay yeah. mm -hmm. okay so that was actually the class for today uh we're going to make a review tomorrow uh for for this for these evaluations we're going to practice them as well so we can get any, any question resolved as well. If you have a question, uh, remember you can reach me out uh, through WhatsApp and, and I can help you out whatever you need. Okay, just text me, just tell me teacher, uh, can you explain me this? And I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, thank you. You're good welcome. Night. So okay. have a good night everybody. Take care and see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.